What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a corrupted registry in Windows 10. First, to fix a corrupted registry, you will need to make sure that you have the automatic backup of the registry set in place. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go to our C root directory, Windows, and then we're going to go into our System32. Inside System32, we're going to go to Config. Inside the Config folder, you might see this message pop up. Click Continue, and you'll see all of your registry files here your system security software and sam and also drivers and default click on the reg back now you'll notice here microsoft removed the functionality of the reg back back in 2018 this means that registry backup doesn't go into here automatically you will have to re-enable that feature i believe that this is a really useful way of recovering a corrupted registry and i'll show you how to do it in this video so first off let's go back down to the search box and type reg edit inside here we can click on the registry editor this will open up the user account control click yes and now we should see the registry this is where we can uh, edit our registry so we're going to go to h key local machine inside here we're going to go down to system open that little tab up there and then drop down to current control set, open this up, and then go to control, drop the arrow down. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit wider here. Then we need to drill all the way down to where you see session manager. Click on this and open this up here. Once we open this up, it will give us access to some more here. So we're gonna go to configuration manager now, once we're on the configuration manager, we need to head over to the right hand pane here and we can now right click on this area and create a new D word value called enable periodic backup and set this value to one. It needs to be D word uh, 32 bit. So type that out inside this little box here. And what this is going to do is enable uh, the periodic backup of our registry. Now, again, this does take up some space on the hard drive. It used to be enabled by default. But as I've said, in 2018, Microsoft ceased uh, to support this. Uh, I do believe that it's worth having because it can help you rescue from a corrupted registry or, a, you know, a broken Windows operating system. Enable that feature by putting one in the box there. And we can now close off our registry editor. So once we've got that done, we're pretty much ready to go so we're going to restart our system and uh, let that reboot and once that reboots you'll get that added back on but we do need to do a couple of more little tweaks here which i'll show you right now and this is the preparation process for rescuing your system if it gets corrupted or if you have problems with the registry or the registry hive or even the windows operating system it can uh, get your pc back up and running without having to reformat so type in here task and you want to look for task scheduler here. Click on the task scheduler and this will open up a box. We're going to go inside here. Now we need to look for the task scheduler library inside there. We're going to pull this open and we're going to go to Microsoft. And that's the next place we need to go to. Open that up there. Then go to Windows. Drop that down. I'm going to just open this up a little bit more so you can see. And then from here, we're going to come down. Just keep coming down here and look for. There we go, right there, the registry. So click on that one. And once we're there, we should now see the reg idle backup. Now to run this, you can literally right click on this and click run. And this will run a registry backup for you. And this will just do it once manually. That's how you can set this up manually to do it manually. Also, if you want to right click on here and make an automated uh, backup system, right click on there and go to properties. And this will open up this box here, which is our reg idle backup properties box for our local computer. Inside here, we're gonna go to triggers. Inside the triggers box here, we can click on new to create a new trigger. 
So basically click on this one here. So inside the new trigger box here, you'll see begin the task on schedule. And we can also do this on log on, startup, idle, an event, whatever it is you want to set yours to, one time only, weekly. I'm going to set it weekly or daily or monthly. You can now set up a recurrence for whenever you want to run it. One week on, you can do it for Sunday. And you can also do a start date and a time. So you can set this up to a time when you're probably not going to be using a computer. You might leave the computer on, say, tea time or evening or whatever it is when you're not using a computer. Set it up here and you can synchronize this across time zones as well. So you can set that up how you like it. So I will set this up just for a little bit of distance here, say 40. So I can do it now so you'll see what it looks like once it's been completed. On the other side here, advanced settings, you can delay the task, repeat task every hour or whenever you want to do this. If you want to do that also for the duration of one day and also stop task. If it runs longer than so many days, you can set this up. You can expire it on a certain date. So if you only want to do so many, you can expire that uh, task and that trigger to stop working on a certain time. And we're going to enable that feature. Once we've done this, we can now click OK. And that's basically got that set up for us. So that's going to automatically back up on a certain time. And you can set yours up how you want. I've already run this once, so it should already be populated. So I'm going to close all this off. And what we're going to do here is go to the Regback folder again. So go back into your C drive here, go down to Windows and then System32, then inside the config area here and look inside Regback. You should now see your default SAM security software and system files, and these can be used to recover the system after a, a corrupt registry hive or some sort of corruption in there operating system here. So I'll show you basically how to recover a computer in this video as well. So you know, it's in one video. So if you do have problems, you can watch the whole thing. Now it's difficult to title this properly. If I just put how to create a registry backup, then you won't see the other side of it. So I'll, I'll use the title what I put in this video to make it easier for you to find. So let's restart the computer here first. And we're going to go into our recovery session here. Now, system restore environment can be accessed via recovery disk, Windows boot disk or flash drive, or after three failed Windows startup attempts. So what we need to do here is go down to troubleshoot here and click on this and then go down to advanced options. And then we want to go down to command prompts because we're going to be using the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So once we've done this, it will reboot the system back into our command prompt. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is to restore our registry or a registry I have to fix basically the computer if it's corrupted. And this is a good way of doing it. So if you've got a password on the account, you need to put it in at that stage. If you don't, you just push continue. Now we need to find out what a volume the actual operating systems on sometimes it changes that drive letter so type disk part here and we're going to list all the volumes so we can actually see them and sometimes it might be a d or something like that so if it is when we can uh, basically copy those files over so list volume and you should now see volume two is the c drive so we know it's c so we can use that in our in our command that we're going to use so what we need to do here is exit out of disk part. We've used disk part to find out what volume that is now. So type exit. And now we need to type in this command here, X copy. And what that's going to do is copy all the contents from the regback folder over to our config folder. Now the config folder is where our working registry is. So we're copying all of our backed up registry from regback into our config folder. And we're going to say A for all. And it's going to copy all of those files over as you've seen right here. Very simple and easy to do. And what that's done is it's using our known good registry backup to copy those over to a working uh, place, which is in our config area. So choose a option. So we're going to turn the PC off and restart the PC now. And once you do this, you should be able to get access to your computer and hopefully all of your problems have
have been resolved and you'll be back up and running in no time. Anyway, that's how you enable the automatic backup on Windows 10 and how you can restore or recover the registry by using that method I showed you right there. Very simple and easy to do. And that's how you can fix a corrupt registry hive. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Remember, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And also leave a comment down below if you like this type of content so I know what type of content to create for you guys. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.